I know we've moved on and everything, but also, again, yeah, just like, why is that. the ceiling being black scary? Fuck, I'm never getting over it. Yeah. Uh, but you know what I might get over sometime soon? Go on. Is another yeah, paranormal and, um, story. And you know what? I'd love to, I'd love to, I'd love to get it going again with uh, with my next <laughs> paranormal story. Fantastic. Do you want to roll? Do you wanna I'd roll? love to roll. Go on. Uh, and this one is very, you know, efficiently titled The Room. Yo. I attended a weekend conference with my cousin at Loyola Marymount University, where my aunt worked. As soon as we got off the elevator, I immediately felt an overwhelming sensation come over me. And when we got to our room, and this is in bold here, I felt as if I had no control over my own body and I began to tremble as I uncontrollably cried. We changed rooms down the hall and I never had an issue unless we passed that room or we were near that elevator. A few weeks later, also in bold here, my aunt received a letter from nuns who stayed in that room stating how they also felt the same overwhelming rush and they thought that there was an oh evil God, demon in there. <laughs> what a lead. That's it. That's it. That is it. Oh my God. That is it. That's hilarious. So, I feel like yeah. whoever that person is, you could write a letter to her of anything yeah. and she'd be like, oh! I was going to say, it sounds like she just felt like a bit Maybe she had like a, a mild panic mm. attack. Well, that this is, is it, it, right? The, 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 I found that to be quite a big common theme in a lot of these stories is that so many of them will, will before it gets yeah. to the rest of the story that's supposed to be scary, they'll preface it by saying like, and I just want to be clear, I don't usually feel like this, but when I went into this yeah. room, I suddenly felt sick. And it's like, You're like well, right, maybe great, you just, your body felt sick? Yeah. As if that's some kind of fucking... As, as, as if that somehow makes us any scarier. Yeah. And then they'll go on to say the most mundane it's shit. It's like, quite... Oh, wow, I stepped through a door and I just happened yeah. to feel sick as I did it, so it's terrible. It's quite handy, isn't it, to, to have something in a story that, that you could just not have to prove because it's not something yeah, exactly. that physically happened, it's just how you felt. Like, and oh, people will be like... a bit. What? And they'll be like, no, yeah. trust me, I never feel sick. And you're like, yeah, you don't have to have... Ever, you could never have <laughs> felt sick in your life and you could still feel sick at some point. Like, that exactly. is quite a common... I just love... My favourite part of that was uncontrollably cried. Like, I, so I, I really need to know how quickly that came on. Was it like immediate, <laughs> like, hey, I'm just going to go to the... <laughs> or was it like was it literally like like a timid like slow slow descent into, and i loved into and did the exact same thing happen to the nuns yeah <laughs> how could the, also just, how could the also wait hang on a second yeah. how did nuns know that these people went to the same room yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It cuts out all logistical so she just parts. got a letter just from says, nuns. It just says, a few weeks later, my aunt received a letter from nuns. It's like, <laughs> which nuns? <laughs> Who? I, I Who? love the ambiguity of just nuns. Just nuns. I received nuns. a text message from God. <laughs> it sounds like there needs to be like a, a TM trademark after nuns. From <laughs> nuns. The, the just, one nun in the world. Is that a part of nuns' daily routine? Yeah. That they just take an hour Mate, out to write letters to people? They, they got to take an them. hour out of every day to write letters to people about a haunted room that, they're, that they once went in. Do, just, do you reckon it. those nuns just sent that same letter to about a hundred different people? Yeah, and they're just, <laughs> just hoping that like, one of them just accidentally oh went god, into the Oh same. my god, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> they're like, write down that you had the same, the same thing. And then they cheeky send it off. fucking nuns, mate. Those it's, nuns can be It's get the equivalent cheeky, of the mate. YouTube. It's just a prank, bro. They're just, they're, they're prank lettering. They're sending yeah, it's off just prank a fucking, letters. They're pranking you with like severe upset. Yeah. So, uh, mate, what would you uh, gauge that on a scale? Oh, mate. I want to give it, I mean... What what was this? I can't even remember what the scale was again. Was it on how scary it was? How spooky? Uh, it was? How spooky the story there is. There is. I can't express how little was yeah, scary. Yeah, I, 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 my body didn't. I what? mean, unlike hers, my body Zero. didn't go through any change in. I'm not even. So. I'm not. I'm not even giving it the luxury of a number because there was nothing. Oh scary wow, about. we've got our first numberless uh, uh, rating. That was so unscary. Yeah, dog I shit. can't even describe how. Yeah. Like, there's nothing scary about no. crying in a room. Not it's sad. honestly. It's sad. There's 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 nothing scary and nothing shameful for about crying in a room no there isn't if this was a scale of one to ten on how sad it was and how <laughs> it would be I'd an 11 person, because my heart mate, aches be, for her be bloody through the roof mate i'd be reaching out to her i'd be sending her a letter i'd be I sending would not her a be letter signing off none just just from from the the sender nuns <laughs> she, every time she opens a letter now she just trembles she's like better not be the nuns uh, oh, not the nuns uh. right hit me with your Fun. next one mate yeah come here's on. another one this one's called 
disappearing wife. Okay. This is on Reddit. All right. I honestly don't know if this belongs in here or somewhere else. In mid-2007, I was walking home from work. There's a small bridge over a sandy creek that I have to cross. I noticed this cute older couple crossing the bridge, walking in the opposite direction as me. When I turned my head to greet them, the old man smiled at me. He was alone. Okay. Right. Just he, say... He I think I zoned out halfway through there because it was so short that I was just expecting more. <laughs> what? Say that again. Oh, my God. All right. So, in mid-2007, I was walking home from work. There's a small bridge over a sandy creek that I have to cross. I noticed this cute older couple crossing the bridge, walking in the opposite direction to me. When I turned my head to greet them, the old man smiled at me. He was alone. Right, yeah, exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um... <laughs> Cool, <laughs> cool. I mean, there's a, there's a slight creepiness in the fact that it's uh, super short, just just says it, you know? There's, there's this, a... is, this one made me think about the fact that where is the sweet spot for how much detail you Yeah, know? because it starts because to I, tease a bit. It starts yeah, to I go I don't like, need to know that it was 2007 and that you had to walk over a, a small bridge at a sandy creek. Sandy creek, creek yet, yeah. if it didn't have any details, I'd probably be also going bullshit. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I think the problem with this one is that, in theory, the idea is pretty spooky, you know? Like, yeah. seeing someone that isn't there and then, and then suddenly not... But the, the telling of it was just quite simply, I saw a couple and then I turned around and there was only one of them. That, it's that too essentially blunt. Essentially, it comes blunt. down to that. It's so, too blunt. Like, like, if anything, fucking... If this, if this was somehow absolutely true and ghosts exist, yeah. if anything, make up some shit to throw make, in there. Make anything. Look, mate, funny. you are on Reddit telling a ghost story. You've got exactly. you to fill in the gaps, you know? You're already at the low bar. Just fucking yeah. It, that's a t that's a two out of ten. I, I'll, I'll give it that. I'll give it okay. the, the attempt of being spooky, but just okay. completely falling flat on its face. Go on, let's see what you got. I'll probably actually no, I'll probably agree with a two. Probably okay. Let's try it a bit more. This one's called the bathroom stall in Keating Hall. Huge. Keating Hall on the Ringling College of Art Design campus previously a hotel, was famously haunted by Mary, a prostitute who hanged herself in the 20s. A student wow. told me that they were doing a self-portrait in the mirror of the communal bathroom one night. He knew someone was in the stool behind him because their feet were sticking out. They were taking a long time, so he turned around, but the stool was empty. The creepy part? When he looked back in the mirror, the feet were still visible. Huge, huge maybe it was shoes. I mean, shoes. What we say that again? Maybe it was shoes. Maybe, maybe it was, it was shoes. shoes. Yeah, maybe it was shoes. Well, I think I guess it was at bare feet. But again, I don't know. I don't know. That's almost funny. It is almost funny. I mean, see, this is my problem with, and actually, I've come to realise a lot, a lot of the uh, submissions <laughs> on this list is that I feel like they're just trying to, they're just trying to say like jump scares in a horror film. This is, yeah, this is exactly it. I found this of them as well. The, yeah. Like, however, however, like, that one's short. Some of these are really short. Some of these are longer. A lot of them online are really long. Yeah. But no matter how much flesh there is or isn't to it, there's always, like, one point in it. Like, the actual scare is just a jump it's scare just a jump scene scare. in a horror film. It, it, like, you can They're literally see cliche. the camera, like, moving. Like, it'll be yeah. like, and then I turned around and back in the mirror. Like, it's like, okay, cool. This exactly. is just a horror film. And I feel like, I feel like if... If ghosts did exist for some reason, yeah. they're not going to be going around nah. fucking d ticking off their jump scare and horror film lists. Like they're not going to stand behind yeah. you in a mirror. See, that's they? what I've always thought about horror films in general, actually. But I do love a good horror film. But but like horror yeah. stories and stuff is yeah. If you, like it, it it when you really think about the circumstances that are in a lot of these like stories and stuff, and like yeah. let's just take horror films for example, and yeah. it's always like I don't know a demon like haunting someone, and there's like loads of build up of like jump scares and whatever. You have to, if you are to buy into that, you have to buy into the fact that the ghost, yeah, is just prancing around doing weird this shit. It, yeah. Why would it ever do that? Why? Like, that's it's why. Like, that's, yeah, the, the, it's like a fine line in horror films in particular. It's a really yeah. fine line between like how, like whatever the fucking ghost is doing. Yeah. That's Where what, if that's, you actually think about it from the other perspective, you're like, that's hilarious. That's why like I find the best and scariest like horror films or stories address that like it's scary to me like yeah. the conjuring for example when it's like a demon that is doing it because it just fucking wants to fuck you off cool yeah, exactly, but when yeah. it's like 
and a lot of these stories, like I, I was looking at longer ones that before we decided to go to the shorter ones, but a lot yeah. of the longer ones would kind of wrap up and be like, it, it, I don't know, it'd be like a, the ghost of a, of a parent who wanted to stick around it. And it's like, so they just fucking like go and if a, if a, if a parent wanted to stick around in ghost form and tell their kids something that like, they wouldn't like leave breadcrumb yeah. trails and like push them downstairs. You'd exactly. just be like, Hey mate, this, you just and also, like, what? With that on the subject of like stories where it's like, and I, and, and so this means that the ghost was a long lost parent of this girl that died in his house. Yeah. It's like, you literally could not have less evidence. Yeah. For you've that. just seen you've just an decided orange that. disappear in your bed. Yeah. What Someone does, died yeah. in a house. You went in, you had a, you fucking, I don't know, you suddenly felt a bit ill. You yeah. cried a bit and then you lost your orange. And now you've decided that the long lost grandmother or that fucking person that died is haunting you. It's like, just, you have yeah, no evidence. That's the thing. I think that's the thing with a lot of these is that it's a lot of, of, yeah. attempted evidence of something that That's really it. doesn't have any evidence at all. This is another podcast Two people making you laugh Maybe you should tell all your friends Otherwise you're dead to us Let's carry